Um, so this weekend I went to go see a incredible performance by Jeremy Wineglass and his, it was called Odyssey, it was a 12 month narrative of music on his incredible piano teamed up with an incredible violinist um, and then with this beautiful dancing and uh, silk acrobatic performances and it was it was just glorious. It was so inspiring to see someone who I knew socially, several people that I knew socially, just expose their gifts in this profound way. And as I left, my heart was so like, wow, and inspired. And so many other people were as they left, and it was just kind of this incredible experience. But one of the things that was neat about it, and that as I've gotten to know Jeremy a little bit over the last several months, is he did it as a a fundraiser for the Big Brother, Big Sister program. And he wrote this great, incredible article uh, a while back about his experience with Big Brother and his challenging childhood where he did not necessarily have many of the things that we talked about today about what family needs to be or, or can be, ideally, in terms of trust and support. And, and so he was very lucky to find a big brother who, who gave him many of these things of structure and support and love. And so as he talked about this and has just recently gone through the application process and has become a big brother himself, so he now has a little and he is a big. And as he's doing this performance and his big brother is in the audience and his extended non genetic family of friends is there, it became very clear that family is not just a genetic thing. He was this beautiful example of someone who had blossomed and grown and fulfilled who he is supposed to be in a divine sense because of the family that he created or was drawn to him that was nothing to do with, with his biology. It was really, it really made me think, and it really was a, a beautiful example, I think, of, of, of what family can be.